What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of edX Tutorials. In today's episode I'll be showing you the sweep feature. So let's get started. So the first thing is go ahead and create a new file. We're gonna go ahead and choose millimeters, name your file, choose the destination, go ahead and click OK. Next, you want to click File, Preferences, Sketch. You want to make sure your uh, auto constraints and auto dimensioning are off. Go ahead and click OK. Go ahead and create a sketch. Alright, so we're actually going to do two sketches. The first sketch is going to be on the X, Z axis. So go ahead and rotate it on the X, Z. Make sure you select that. And it says XZ plane. Click on that. Click OK. Alright, we're going to go ahead and create our first line. Go ahead and constrain it. Horizontal alignment. Give it a dimension. So the first line is going to be 80 millimeters long. Go ahead and type in 80. Alright. So we want this line. We're going to go ahead and constrain it to the X axis. sketch is fully constrained. Let's go ahead and continue and create two more lines. We want these two lines to be vertical. We want an equal length. Go ahead and dimension one of the lines. This one's going to be 65 millimeters. Go ahead and close out. We're going to create two more lines coming across. Go ahead and highlight the endpoints of the line. We'll connect the endpoints. Make them coincident. Make them horizontally aligned. And then we want them equal length. So highlight them both. Come up here, equal length. Give a dimension to one of the lines. And this one's going to be 22 and a half. need two more lines coming down. Same thing, highlight them. Make them vertical. We want them same length. Click on the equal length. Connect your endpoints. And then dimension it. want it at 32. Go ahead and type in 32. Close out. And then finally create your last line. Go ahead and connect the endpoints. Alright, so our first sketch is fully constrained. Go ahead and finish. Our second sketch is going to be on the YZ axis, so go ahead and create a second sketch.
We want a YZ. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, so go ahead and create the first line. Going across. Constrain your line. Make it horizontal. zero away from the axis. Go ahead and close out. This one's going to be 325 millimeters. All right. Our next line, I want to create click line. You want to connect your endpoints. Then we want to give it an angular dimension. All right, so we want the angle at 150. So go ahead and double click on that angle and type in 150. Press enter. Go ahead and close out. dimension this line we want this line to be 330 close out all right create another line going across go ahead and make a horizontal Connect your endpoints. And we want this line at 135. Alright. We'll create another line. We'll make this line with this line equal length. Connect your endpoints. And then we want the same angle dimension, which is 150. All right, and lastly, the last line coming across, we want an equal length as the outside one. Go ahead and make a horizontal connect your endpoints, make them coincident. Alright, so now our sketch is fully constrained. Go ahead and finish. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to do the sweep along guide. So basically I'm going to take this sketch and make a sweep along this second sketch we created to make our part. So in order to do that is go ahead and click menu. You want to insert under the sweep, sweep along guide. Go ahead and click that. All right. So your section, you select the curves. Make sure you want to select the first sketch that we created. And then uncheck this one here. So that should be eight curves. Next is your guide. So we want this as our guide. So go ahead and highlight that one. There it is. And then for the offset, you can offset it.
for the metal thickness. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as zero. Go ahead and click OK. All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and hide out, hide our sketch. So come up here in the view, move to layer, highlight your part, and then invert selection to select everything else. Go ahead and click OK. We're going to go ahead and move into different layer, layer 5. Next, come in the layer settings. You want, we want to hide layer 5. Go ahead and click close. And then control J. Highlight your object. You want to change the color. And there's our part. Alright, there it is guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time.